Guardians of the galaxy, they are guardians of the galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It's not as good as the first one, which does not mean it's not a good movie. It's a good movie. It's a fun movie. The first one was different. It created its own little niche within the Marvel Universe. We were just getting to know the characters. I wasn't too familiar with the Guardians of the Galaxy. So in that movie, we were getting to know, I guess, their role in the group. In this one, we get to know who they are. We go into everyone's past and see what kind of made them them. We do it for Star-Lord. We do it for Rocket. Yandu even. Yandu was the breakout to me. Nebula and Gamora's uh, as dynamic as well. They go into to all of their past uh, to explain what I did and why I'm doing it. Even Ego. This movie is wholeheartedly Star-Lord. We see the dynamic between him and his father. Why his father um, never came back for him. What his father is. What he is. And the future that his father wants for him. In addition to that, the movie is not bigger, more explosions, bigger fights, better in that aspect. It's bigger and better because of the character building. It gets us closer to the characters. Yo, I almost cried. When she was like, I, I can't because I can't of spoilers, but when she said what she said to Gamora, I was like, dang, Nebula, that's what it was? And even Yandu, Yandu was talking to Rocket and, you know, he was basically, he was reading Rocket. He was reading that boy. And he was just like, yo, this is what it is and you're acting like this and being a damn douche because of this. I was like, dang, Yandu. It makes all of them more human. They've been through some shit and they have to protect themselves. It's bigger because of that. And that's a good thing because it builds that relationship between the audience and the characters and allows you to grow with them. Someone's gonna die eventually and we all are gonna be fucking hurt because I'm invested. I'm invested in Stan Lee and Stan Lee's cameo in this movie, probably the coolest cameo he's had. There's two caveats. Two caveats for this movie. The first one is the movie just didn't seem to flow like we would jump from one thing to another and that leads me to my next the golden people i get why they're in the movie because of the after credit scenes and all that they were just out of place at times and we're here we're here we're doing this we're having fun boom now we got golden people i feel like they were unnecessary to be in the movie so much drax is obviously the comedic star in this movie they gave drax the golden lines he had the best jokes and the way he delivered them he owns that character Drax. He's really, really funny in this movie. Most of the jokes come from Drax. This baby Groot is super cute. But there's a lot of baby Groot in it. And I just, I don't want to say it was too much. They could have pulled back a little bit. Literally the first scene, baby Groot is dancing. And it's like, come on, you guys. This is ridiculous. I want a baby Groot. Overall. 4.3 out of 5, it's not as awesome as the first one, but for different reasons, it is about almost there as awesome. Go to the movies. Go see it. If you didn't see it this weekend, go see it next weekend. Um, if you can't afford the $14, $17, $20 tickets, go see the matinee for $5, 6 $7. I don't think it's a waste of money to even go see it in 3D. You'll enjoy yourself, you'll have lots of fun, you'll laugh, you may even cry. You won't be disappointed. And until next time, may the fourth be with you. They are guardians of the galaxy. You may even cry. There's one point with Baby Groot. There was two points with Baby Groot. I... My heart was pulled. I did this whole scene where he's kind of protecting the ship. 
and it's kind of Home Alone-esque, you know, they set up booby traps and stuff, they were awesome. I'm just looking like, I want that. Like, I want an alarm system like that for my house. 